we have hydrogen and its type and its uh, and the ammonium form of hydrogen basically uh, and this is where things uh, quantitatively speaking are much better within the control of the kidney uh, this is a good good chunky slide in terms of information lots of questions are generated from this uh, particular part of uh, renal function uh, and two cells are being being shown to you let's start from these proximal the pct and the alpha integrated cell now i'll just explain what's going on so pct this function of pct has not been discussed up till now this is brand new information for you glutamine is an amino acid it dissociates by certain enzymes uh, to form ammonia the gas and alpha ketoglutarate alpha ketoglutarate then forms a new bicarbonate which is reabsorbed so this is one wing uh, by which you form a new bicarbonate each glutamine when it's broken gives rise to one new bicarbonate here and another bicarbonate later on is formed we will get to that okay so this this thing is sorted number two number number two this ammonia the gas is formed it's basically combined with internal hydrogen and can be secreted as ammonium ion number one or it can be since it's a gas and it's freely uh, 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 transferable from the cell into the lumen it basically can uh, take a trip and it does take a trip uh, through the lumen uh, through the medullary interstitium and basically come into the lumen in front of the alpha integrated cell at the DCT. Just imagine uh, the nephron, uh, a gas is being produced at the PCT. It will percolate through the PCT cells uh, uh, and roam around in the interstitium and then conveniently gets into the lumen of the DCT. Okay, this is that ammonia which was formed right here. Okay, now, in, now this ammonia, very similar to what happened to the HPO4 ion, is, is basically combined with the secreted hydrogen. This whole thing is exactly the same. This new uh, bicarbonate uh, ion that is made is exactly the same as uh, is made in the phosphate buffer system. However, it is the second new bicarbonate ion in addition to the first new bicarbonate ion that was formed when the original glutamine molecule was broken down so each glutamine uh, amino acid when it's broken down it produces not one but two two bicarbonate new bicarbonate ions okay uh, to complete the equation and it, uh, ammonia is combined with hydrogen to form ammonium ammonium is a weak acid and it's easily excreted so that's that now uh, uh, one one obvious uh, benefit of using this buffer system is uh, that it produces more new bicarbonate ions. So that's one thing. Number two, uh, this amount, uh, this uh, whole system basically is tied to acid-base requirements. How is it tied to acid-base requirements? Well, when you have acidosis, guess what happens? When you have acidosis or an acidic change in the ECF fluids, guess what happens to the enzymes which affect glutamine metabolism you guessed right they get activated they get activated by the acidity of the ecf they get activated and more glutamine than normal starts to be broken down so that more ammonia can be made more titration can be made more ammonium can be made and very crucially more new bicarbonate can be made so this is a this is a, a, a specific point that i'm raising here that unlike the phosphate buffer system, the ammonia buffer system has its ties with the acid base world and it can be relied upon in a, in a wide fluctuation of uh, acid and base uh, pH, basically. It can be relied upon, uh, it's indigenous to the kidney, it's all of the actors and the reactors are within the kidney, no outside uh, uh, element is controlling it uh, except acid base, base pH fluctuations, which is welcomed by the kidney. Uh, quantitatively, it produces more bi new bicarbonate as well. So that's also checked. So this overall is quantitatively brilliant uh, buffer system. Okay. Um, uh, so basically, uh, in acidosis, uh, this, as I mentioned, 
this uh, whole renal uh, 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 glutamine uh, metabolism gets uh, basically activated. Also, when the urine gets a bit more acidic, it, it becomes a, a, a much more uh, effective trap for ammonium ions. Uh, more ammonium ions are trapped in more acidic urine, which clears of the ammonium and hence uh, makes way for uh, this transport to be uh, uh, to be increased as well. So if the urine uh, here is more acidic, more ammonium gets trapped and cleared and gives gives uh, the, uh, the all clear to new ammonium to be secreted. So this whole pathway is, uh, uh, is facilitated. Uh, more ammonium also makes, as I said, more bicarbonate ions uh, and 50% uh, of uh, hydrogen secretion is through uh, basically this this uh, ammonium buffer system and 50% of your new bicarbonate is made through this buffer system okay so that's that's one aspect uh, of uh, a ch uh, any change in acid base having its effect on uh, glutamine metabolism and the whole thing that i described however if there are there is chronic uh, uh, acidosis so the acid base disorder uh, is not sorted out by uh, all of these mechanisms uh, in the acute timeline and if it's and if it enters into more uh, 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 longer periods uh, then this uh, ammonium excretion uh, can increase its hydrogen excretion as ammonium mines uh, to 500 milli equivalents a day so you can imagine that if the person has chronic acidosis obviously his net acid secretion will be much more right so this ammonium buffer system can upgrade itself from having to deal with that 50 to 100 milli equivalent per day in a normal person to 500 milli equivalents a day of hydrogen ions. It can manage it, it can sort it out. So in chronic acidosis, this is the dominant buffer system, uh, both for uh, hydrogen excretion and for new bicarbonate uh, 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 production. Okay, that's that. This is the role of kidney that it plays in acid-base disorders. The final slide would be a 